I've been getting a lot of the same questions with my switch to generate press and generate blocks around, first of all, why I did so and what some of the advantages are. So in this video, what I'm going to cover is what I feel is probably my favorite top six of the benefits in terms of workflow improvements that I've been able to realize with that switch. So for me, this is not granular in terms of like what feature or what capability it has specifically versus any other builder. It's more around the workflow improvements because that was a big part of my switch. When I was working exclusively in oxygen sites, I could achieve pretty much anything, add in some custom fields, some conditions, and you were pretty much off to the races. There was very little that you couldn't achieve, especially when you added in code blocks and any kind of custom code. For me though, what I really came to realize is that my workflow was really inefficient. I was building the same things over and over, and I wasn't able to churn out client sites as quickly as we needed. We were fortunate to be getting tons of leads from this YouTube channel and from many other places offline, but I just simply wasn't able to get to those things quick enough and turn them around fast enough. So a huge goal of mine to try to achieve with this switch to generate press and generate blocks is really speeding up the workflow. Real quick, before we get too far in this video, I wanted to share with you that I have a course coming on both generate press and generate blocks. If you're interested, you can find more information at the link in the description. So the first thing that's really, really powerful is the fact that we have cross site copy and paste that just works. Now that's more of a Gutenberg feature because you really can copy any block from one Gutenberg site to the other, but with generate press and generate blocks, blocks, it does work exactly the same way. So I can build any kind of block in generate blocks and move it to any other site that has that installed, even if I don't have the exact same set of global styles, or if my customizer settings don't match, all of the content still moves over and it does its best job to try to match up to whatever you have. Now, if you were really thinking about this and wanting to plan hard, what you could do is make sure that every site that you build has the same color names and the same formatting for typography and those sorts of things and then everything is just gonna carry over whenever you copy and paste it. But we also do have the ability to go into Generate Press Settings, export your customizer settings, which will include colors and typography and things like that. So when you do that copy from one site to another that may not have the same styles, everything moves over and everything just works flawlessly. The copy and paste is so simple. It's literally click the component, control C, move over to your other page, control V, and voila, it's there. The next big thing is that the backend performance when using generate blocks is just unbelievable. Now the underlying core of Gutenberg is built on React, so it's just gonna be extremely fast anyway, but the backend performance is so crazy fast that sometimes when I refresh the page for a variety of reasons, I'm not even sure that the page actually refreshed and I have to do it again because it was just, it's like a flash. It just happens so quickly that I don't even recognize that it happens. This is in stark contrast to my time with Oxygen where especially if I was loading up a large template, I would click edit with Oxygen and I'm not kidding you, I would legit get up and go do something else. Sometimes, you know, if I needed to go grab a drink or use the restroom or whatever, I would get up and do that so that when I came back, everything was loaded. So that's something that is Definitely a huge improvement. The backend performance is amazing, which of course translates to fantastic front end performance too. So kind of on this same vein, the other big piece of this was being able to have multiple editor pages open at once and actively working on those pages at once. Now, of course, it goes without saying that if you're affecting global styles on you know, two different places at once, you can overwrite yourself naturally. That's just how it works. But the thing is, I can now work on multiple different templates or multiple pages across my site adding and removing content and changing things without having to worry about me detonating, you know, piece of content somewhere else on the site. The multiple editor pages open at once limitation was really frustrating and I don't know how many other builders even have that problem, but for me, it's so substantial because I find myself wanting multiple tabs open. Of course, to be fair to Oxygen, there was a way that you could kind of get around it and you could do a little bit with multiple tabs open, but it was really risky and it was something that I was just never willing to take the chance on. So for me, being able to edit multiple pages at once is a huge benefit. And to tie into that, the other thing is I can also have multiple different users, multiple people working in the back end of the site and not have to worry about the same things I just discussed where I'm detonating somebody else's content with the change that I'm making. This was especially pertinent this summer when I had two different huge projects all going on at the same time, and we had multiple sets of different people actively working on these sites, but we had to coordinate, which was crazy, we had to coordinate who was working when on those sites so that we weren't 
you know, stepping on each other's toes and we could actually get the project done. Whereas if we were able to work in tandem like we would be now, we would have been able to get things done so much quicker. So those are all kind of tied in together. The ability to edit multiple pages at once, multiple users at once, and then of course your backend performance. Those are all kind of lumped in together, but they're individual points worth hitting, I think. Back to some of the other advantages and sort of workflow improvements is we are now able to add anything into the body of a post, even if it's controlled by a template. So what I mean by that is, let's say we're working with a singular blog template or any kind of template for a custom post type. In the past, what I either had to do was set up a bunch of ACF fields, which were extremely rigid, and if there was any kind of variance in the post or any need to do something else, you had to go add it to the template, create new fields, and that kind of thing. It's very, very clunky. You also couldn't reorder those fields on an individual basis, which was extremely limiting. What I ended up doing to push a little bit closer to that capability was using ACF flexible content fields, but those had drawbacks in that they were all custom coded, so nobody could really affect that except me or somebody else on the team that has you know, PHP experience. And then the other thing was, even though the client could reorder sections however they needed, they're still not seeing a visual representation of what it's going to look like on the front end. Of course, we would organize the fields in a way to where it looks vaguely similar, but you're not getting a visual representation of what that looks like. So for me, the client editing experience is simply unparalleled in Generate Blocks. I can create reusable blocks so that they can just dump a block into the page that can be put anywhere they want, doesn't matter where, in any order, and then if we need to make a change, of course it's global, and I can do that. Alternatively, I can let them pick something out of the pattern library that has all of the global styles already attached, there's no styling to do, you simply swap out the content and you're good to go. This means that I can put anything anywhere in any post at any time across the site, which seems like something that should be capable, but it just wasn't. In so many of the other builders that have this kind of focus on templates, you have this sort of disconnect between the back end and the front end where there's a lot of power that you get out of that and there are definite advantages to keeping things fairly rigid. But for many of our clients, they have WordPress experience and they are reasonably technical. So empowering this person to be able to make changes and add new posts and update content across the site is totally viable and something they should absolutely have the power to do. So to quickly recap on those six points, it's of course cross-site copy and paste, amazing front-end and back-end performance, multiple editor pages open at once, multiple people working on the site at once, adding anything anywhere to any post at any time, and then of course the ability to allow clients to edit the site and have a reasonable experience doing so. Now another big bonus for me is the focus on accessibility that the Generate Press team has placed into their theme. Now of course I focused a lot on Generate Blocks, but for me those two kind of come together. When I'm talking about Generate, I'm talking about both Generate Press as the theme and Generate Blocks Pro as my block plugin of choice. So their focus on accessibility to me is extremely helpful because there's a few things that are just handled for me right out of the gate that I don't have to worry about. Things like skip to content links for screen readers and things like that. And then also the main menu. It's keyboard accessible both on desktop and on mobile, which is amazing. Accessibility is an area that I absolutely lack in, but it's a point for me that I really want to improve on. And it's something for me that I feel I need to be a representative of for you so that you learn a little bit more and can implement these best practices for accessibility. I was at a WordCamp talk this summer, and one thing that the speaker said really resonated with me, which was that an accessible site is a conversion-focused website. And that's exactly what we build for our clients, is conversion-focused sites. Every site needs to have a purpose and fulfill some business goal, and if it's accessible, it's also focused on conversions, both for an accessible user and for someone who's not an accessible user. It's just a no-brainer. So for me, accessibility is an area that I'd like to improve on. I have a long way to go, as I'm sure you probably do too, but still it's something that I'd really like to improve on. So these minor things that Generate Press kind of just handles for you behind the scenes are extremely important. So with that, those are the top six improvements that I've realized in my workflow, thanks to Generate Press and Generate Blocks. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you currently a GPGB user? Are you planning to be? What questions do you have? Drop those in the chat for me and I will do my very best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.